Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah, I'll block it. It's just, it's never so bonkers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so later today, I want to get in some charity shops with the GoPro on, see what we can find. It's been a little while. I am short of stock, like really, really short of stock. But first, we have got plenty of orders to pack. If you are new to the channel, I'm a full-time eBay seller, so I buy things for a low price, sell it online, hopefully for extortionate prices only joking for a higher price make a profit and that's how i make a living all right before we get into this video hit the like button let's try and smash past 200 likes on this video so first sale 70 pound for this english frigate model kit that is this one here we paid a tenner in a saint luke's in plimpton and we sold it for 70 good good profit i did pay a couple quid each for these nct dream like dvd sets album sets i've got three of those i did sell this one for 15 pounds I paid a couple pounds for those Pokemon plush there, and we sold them in a bundle for £16. Boston Red Sox hat, sold it for £17.99. We paid a fiver for that one. Paid a pound for Mist, and we got £12.99 for that one. PC game, before they use Steam codes, so you could still sell this one. Most PC games nowadays, they always have codes, and they're pretty worthless. Bundle of four Pokemon playing cards there. Don't owe us anything, and we got a tenner for those four. These two Batman games owe us a pound, and we got a tenner for those combined. They'll go as a large letter side by side in one of these f3 mailers linked down below just like that i sold this gorgeous toast dress charlotte was very very jealous of this pickup we paid a fiver and we got 89.99 for that one really really good brand to look out for there is the label there next sale we sold this barber quality jacket for 20 pound it does have a big mark on it that's why we got a low price that there was just not coming out so we got 20 pound for that we did only pay a couple of quid so still good profit on that got 16 pound for this father son shirt as you can see there paid a couple pound again good brand this one i always do quite well on those shirts next sale there ladies barber jeans 19.99 dead easy sale i think they sold very very quickly uh paid two pound for those and then these are really cool but i'm in a little bit of a predicament uh 45 pound for some wool trousers house of brewer that is the brand there however they are going gsp on canada they paid for that pair but they did buy another pair for 42 pound however not paid and asked for combined postage but because they've paid already on these it's really hard to try and sort out some combined postage i've been messaging them for the last couple of days not heard anything back they're in canada so who knows what's gonna happen with those Really, I should ship those out and get them gone. But then again, I need to try and work out with the buyer what they actually want. So they will be held off until we can figure out what's going on. And then finally, we've got three pieces of clothing here which haven't been paid for either. That feeler knit we sold for £17.49p. I think we paid about two quid for that. For a feeler product, it is really nice to be fair. Really nice tag on it. After that, it was £14.99 for a Chelsea shirt. Not paid yet. And then last but not least from this morning, it's £25 for a Ted Blazer ted blazer 25 pound for a ted baker blazer we did take an offer on that i think we had it listed at about 34.99 but i'm happy with that we only paid about three pounds so again a few bits that are a bit awkward we can't send yet but we've got plenty to get out the door and they have been under the weather the last couple of days so i've not really been able to list i'm feeling bunged up today just want to get these done and hopefully get a bit of work done later get some listings done and, and some stock bought but when you are feeling it and you're a bit rough it is hard to get going especially when i am low on stock um i couldn't just come in the garage and get some listings done every day when i'm not feeling too good literally the death pile at the minute is empty we did have an unfortunate return on the pachamama cardigan really nice cardigan it just didn't fit the buyer uh the measurements were in the listing and all that but still when zipped up they just weren't quite happy with it i think that was a 55 pound sale so i'm sure that'll go again very soon it is just one of those things though you get returns every week you just got kind of swallow it and get on with it there's more good than bad promise you okay so i'm gonna pack this as quick as i can get it out of the door and then we can get in some charity shops find some goodies so catch you then by the way i bought this top off ricky brand new with tags for like 20 quid 25 quid he got it in a charity shop for four quid or whatever i'll pay the resale price support resellers in 2023 if you do want to buy something try and buy it through the community it does help and it'll go a long way so nice one ricky and here's to mercedes having a lot better year this year i do not believe it i sold this ipod a couple of weeks ago and I turned this garage upside down looking for it. I could not find it anywhere. I had to cancel the order. I was just distraught that day. I just could not find it. I knew it was in that box, but I went through it so many times and it wasn't there. Anyway, I pulled that cap out that we sold today. It was inside the cap. It was like underneath that rim. I cannot believe it. Nine going with Everett, and then we've got about four going with Royal Mail. The more valuable ones going with Royal Mail. Like I mentioned, though, no stock, not listing, not been well. The sales do suffer because of that. The proof is in the pudding, your list and your sell. So we're dropping parcels off, and then charity shops. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Hi. I should climb how fast you can do it. Oh, 
So I got a lazy season for four pound, uh -huh. half price, and I got the Joseph Turner wool jumper, which is half price as well, three seventy five. They're like thirty thirty five online. Like Johnstons. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah, I'll have a look. It's bonkers. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Oh, it's basket, mate. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> all of that stuff there is like branded. And one guy came in and he was like really up front. He was like, look, I resell stuff. Are you happy yeah. for me to just blitz through? I was like, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, it makes no difference to me. Yeah, you know, course. it's it's out of our way. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, what you choose to do it from there on is the amount of stuff we get, as you can see. I mean, we've probably taken about 30 bags today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. today. Just add something. Yeah. We've got a good stack. So we've got a whole bag of stuff. We'll go through it in a bit. So that was good. We've got a new contact. We have got a new contact. Um, got a look there, by the way. Because <laughs> I, I, I always look at me and I've started looking actually at the camera now. Yeah, so I'll be able to go in there a couple of times a week and get more stuck, which was good. I think I got 11 pieces of clothing for a pound each then. They had a pound sale on, didn't they, so? Yeah. And we uh, made our way upstairs somehow. Oh, well, we were I've known the, um, the lady for ages, I've been friends with her for a few months, um, but never really told her about what, what we do, or what you do. Yeah. Um, and then we ended up upstairs and she said, come in whenever you want. Yeah, yeah, and we'll be a good relationship, won't it? Helps her out as well, because they get so many donations, stock-wise. Yeah. yeah, of course. Oh, oh. Ooh, it's an Etty there. Bit of spanning, isn't it? £30. It is a bit much. See, I don't mind paying £20, but it's got to be something, even like 50 quid, you know what I mean? It's just got to be something special, isn't it? All this hat. It is a bit funky, but. How quick you gonna do it? How quick you gonna do it? So this is what Ricky does, right? He goes out. But you gotta be cultured, do you know what I mean? Ricky's out. Like a cat. It's just an M&S rail. Excuse me. Don't be doing that. I'm gonna get them books there. Uh, mm -hmm. Pound each. We get like 50. Get 50 for the bundle. Something like that. I like the look of them. Get them. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's not kind of cool. <laughs> All blacks. Decent little haul, to be fair. Right, I'm gonna get a full haul going. But I'm going to use these books as a tripod for me. So that's the first pick up there. We've got 10 Bernard Cornwell books. I've seen similar bundles with just a couple more books sell for around about 50. So I'll aim about there, maybe a little bit less. But pound each, 10 are into about 45. Well, that was a pretty decent day, to be fair. We did really well. Lots picked up and we gained a new contact so we can get some stock in the future, which is cool. So I'll go through each piece that we got today. So you would have seen some footage from the shops. I don't work the best footage. I didn't have any GoPro mount on. I was just holding it. But first thing we did pick up was this Joseph Turner jumper. This same jumper online is selling for over £30. We paid £3.75. It was half price from £7.50. Really nice jumper. It is 100% pure new wool. Anything with nice patterns and colours usually means a bit of money. So worth searching up if you do find anything like that. So the next lot of stuff is from the new contact. It was a pound sale in the shop today. We did go in the back and we grabbed a few bits out the back, but we didn't have a proper look. We'll be having a proper look later in the week, see what we can find. These are the few bits that we've seen on the surface. So this is a Johnston's Fine Merino Wool 100% jumper. Get at least 20 for that. This one's a Peter Hahn Pure Tasmanian Wool. Not brilliant money on those, but 15 at least. We've got this gorgeous tartan skirt, which is from m &S. It's a St. Michael one. Kind of like a Burberry print. We'll get at least 20 on that. I'm going to push a lot higher though. Next one was this Debenhams Pure New Wool jumper. Um, I think Charlotte threw this one in. Not saying I don't want it, Charlotte, but it doesn't light me with excitement. Next one's this Callaway Wool Gilet. It's about a quarter zip. That is 80% wool. This next one's quite cool. Funky print. It is 100% wool. It is Welsh woolens. Woven in Wales, of course. Here are some of the soles on Welsh woolens. So similar type of jackets and coats. £65, £99. Obviously not seeing the exact same one, but it's looking good. I'll aim high with that one. But for a pound, it's a no-brainer. We got this Hogs of Fife shirt. That is a hunting brand, I do believe. It's like a line shirt. Good brand to look out for. Again, is Orvis. 
This one's a really cool pattern. It's like a long sleeve tee slash thin, thin jumper, but uh, paid a pound again. Got this glass, which is really cool in there as well, which is Cinzano. I've seen like a bundle of these listed for like 40 quid. So I just thought for a pound, why not? Got this black weird fish, quarter zip, macaroni, pound again. Nice and easy sellers on the weird fish stuff. This skirt's gorgeous. You would have seen, I sold the House of Brewer pants. This is a House of Brewer skirt again pure new wool look at at least 30 on that maybe not as much as the pants probably will aim high 40 and then come down it's in immaculate condition though last but not least from there we did have another one of them tasmanian ones as well again bit of a bread and butter 10 to 15 obviously i'm looking forward to getting in there again it was a really cool shop uh the manager's super cool obviously it won't be a pound each all the time that was just you know kind of what she was doing today but yeah i'm really looking forward to working with them see what we can get we did pick up that orbis beanie for four pounds it was 100 lamb's wool should get at least 20 on that from the other shop, we did get this Duchamp shirt, which is quite a nice design. Should get at least 20 on that. In the same shop, we got this All Blacks Adidas rugby shirt as well, which is cool. I'm not sure totally on the value. There's loads of different ones, so I'll have to look into that. And then we got some decent little Haley Hansen snow pants in a medium. Pretty cool design. Get at least 25 for those. I think there was like five or so. So yeah, that's what we got at the charity shop today. We got all them books, all them clothes, and a little glass. So I am pretty happy with that. Good time at the charity shops. Got the GoPro back out, which was cool. I am looking to do more of that in the future, getting back in the boot sales as well. That's the uh, the one goal this year, just smash out the boot sales, get lots of videos made as well. Before I do love you and leave you, leave a comment down below what was your favourite item I picked up today. Also, leave a like on the video. It does help out the channel massively. Link down below, got my Facebook group, Instagram page, eBay store, business email, all of that good stuff. And then everything I use in my business is also linked down below. Anyway, I hope you all having a great week. Keep smashing it and I'll see you in the next one.